Did you know that we have channel memberships now? If you'd like to help support this channel, get some exclusive Koobana emotes to use in the comments, as well as an exclusive badge by your name, click that join button now to find out more. Every bit of support really helps. Thanks guys. Saad are one of the best-selling music artists in Japan, and also the subject of this particular internet mystery. The group formed in 1991, and rotated through several members over the years, with lead singer Sakai Izumi being the only member never to change. Over the years, she became a major star and prolific songwriter for other groups on the side as well. In June 2006, however, Sakai was admitted to the hospital with cervical cancer. She underwent surgery and a tumour was removed, but the cancer had already progressed too far. By April the following year, it had reached her lungs, and Sakai was readmitted to the Keio University Hospital in Tokyo. It was reported that Sakai took daily walks while there, and it was during one of these early morning walks that Sakai slipped and fell three metres from some hospital stairs. Her body was discovered by a passerby around 5.40am on May 26, 2007, and although she was rushed to emergency, she was pronounced dead at 3.10pm that same day. And it's here that this particular internet mystery comes into play. Sakai's death was a huge shock to Japan. Audiences and even the public in general loved her, and she had been planning a new album and concert before she died, to show that she was conquering her illness. So hearing the news that she had slipped from some stairs and died shook the nation. Numerous threads went up on Ni Channel, where fans discussed their memories of the singer and shared their condolences, but there was one message in particular that stood out. Posted at 5am on the dot, the comment said, Hang on, this is creepy. Somebody is singing a Zard song at this time, in the plaza behind the hospital. What hospital? Are you in Shin Okubo as well? No, Keio University Hospital. This person's voice is beautiful, but also somewhat hollow, like it's about to disappear while singing. I'm scared. I'm going to go back inside now. The final comment was made at 5.07am. If true, then this person was likely the last person on earth to hear Sakai singing one of her own songs outside the Keio University Hospital before she slipped and fell to her own death. The copy-paste instantly became famous and was shared all over Ni Channel and other forums. It seemed too much to be a coincidence. This person just happened to post at the right time from the right place, potentially moments before Sakai died. But was it true? Was this anonymous Ni Channel user really the last person to hear Sakai just moments before her death? If we take the comments at face value, then yes, this person was. But Ni Channel is never that simple, and a little digging uncovers some interesting facts. Perhaps the first and most important fact is that nobody has yet uncovered the thread these comments supposedly came from. Now, that alone isn't a giant red flag. Ni Channel threads are lost to the annals of the internet regularly, and that's why copy-paste websites exist in such massive numbers. They save interesting threads from disappearing, preserving them for people to read years and even decades down the line. But the fact remains that the original thread these comments supposedly came from has never been found. Secondly, and perhaps most damning, relates to the usernames. Most Ni Channel forums have a default username that, unless you specifically change it, will be used when you post. Most of these use the word nanashi, no name, nameless, in interesting or funny sentences. For example, one of the news forums uses Asamade Nanashi-san, nameless until morning. The introductions forum uses Hajimemashite Nanashi-san, Nice to meet you, nameless. The occult forums, where most mysteries spring from, use Honto ni atta kowai nanashi. The scary nameless that really happened. A pun on the Honto ni atta kowai hanashi series, 
meaning scary stories that really happened. The name used in the comments related to Sakai's death was Osanpo Chudayo, Nanashi-san atto rojo waka, Nameless Taking a Walk at Roadworker. Both the original commenter and the person replying to them had the exact same username, so this was presumably the default name for the board they were posting on. But a search for which board uses that name brings up nothing. These names have been documented well over the years, and it's difficult to think any might have been missed. A search for that specific username only ever brings up this same copy-paste as well. It would appear that no other comments in the two plus decades of Nii Channel's history have ever used this particular username. Suspicious. So if we assume the copy-paste is fake, created to take advantage of Sakai's untimely death, then who created it and where did it come from? The earliest evidence points to a user from a thread titled Sakai Izumi-san from Zard dies. The 40-year-old fell from the stairs of the hospital she was in. She was fighting cancer. 13. Here, a user with the name CHOWWW posted the copy-paste, as it's known today, at 5.26pm on May 28, 2007, two days after Sakai died. The same user posted the copy-paste again in thread 15 of the same thread at 6.07pm the same day, and then, two minutes later, a user with the name Korewa W posted the same thing again. The user IDs of all three posts were exactly the same, meaning they were all shared by the same person. That same ID posted numerous times across various threads speaking of Sakai's death, and by all accounts, appears to be the first appearance of this copy-paste on the internet. And if so, that means the copy-paste was nothing more than a simple troll. It's not the first time a fake copy-paste has been created and shared on Nii Channel to frighten people, and it's incredibly easy to copy the Nii Channel posting format to share such things. But it does break down easily when people go looking for the origins, so it relies on the copy-paste gaining traction before anyone decides to do some digging for themselves to see whether it's true or not. In the end, there's no evidence to prove this exchange ever took place. The earliest proof shows it came from another user who was active in various threads, talking about Sakai's death two days after it happened. By that point, the details of Sakai's accident were well known to the public, including where she was, what happened, and what time. And from that, it appears this particular user decided to create a frightening copy-paste, perhaps in the hopes of going viral. And if so, they certainly got their wish, because people still talk about it and try to confirm or debunk it today. But what did you guys think of this one? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you again next time.